Robert Hector from Cool Bond, Ratnior and Escorty. We've point to point yard slash pre train braking. Uh, there's roughly about 25 30 horses here. I started off on ponies, um, did pony camp, did the SGI jumping, and got all that grounding and sure. Kind of come TY, I think it was. I started into onto the race horses. Um, I went over to Darrell Deacon and for at weekends, and I went on work experience with Paul and James Nolan. When I left school, I joined Liz Doyle down in in um, Cross the Bay. I think I did three or four years down there. Um, sure, that was my college, as you say. And uh, then I went to Willie Mullins's for two years and. That was like a master's up there. <laughs> when I was in Liz's, I had a horse uh, I bred, and um, he went on to win his bumper first time out in Punch Town there, Chapman's Hype was his name. He then went on to Jamie Snowden and won nine um, firms. So he was probably the horse that kick-started the whole um, thing of going out and doing it by myself. Came home in 2019 or in around it um, and put in the gallop that's there now at the minute. It's a six furlong gallop, Wexford Sand. Climbs 44 metres or something from bottom to top. Um, it's a great addition to me now. Don't have to do much fast work and it's just all steady canter and it suits all the young horses, I suppose. Uh, on a daily basis, I have Jason and Willie there, there with me full time. Uh, very grateful to have them, good, good chaps. And then I have a few Saturday workers there, um, Gabrielle and Leon and Jack. Um, and then, sure, once a week I'll meet the lads, Jack, Hendrick, Paddy Scallon, Tiernan Power, Roach, um, schooling, uh, whether they come here or we go down to Morris Days, I built the shed uh, two years this March. Um, there's 24 stables in it. Um, it's really well ventilated. Um, it, the horses seem to be very comfortable and healthy, touch wood. Schooling is a, a big, big part of the routine here uh, for all the young horses, especially. Um, they have to be so sharp um, going to these point of points now. And, even to their trainers now as well for, as regards pre-training. Um, but I'm very lucky to have five fences in a four furlong circuit up around the field um, here. The, if they're jumping them, they'll go anywhere, really. The grass gallop we is a mile and a half um, in one circuit. We use it there uh, kind of when they're getting nearer to run, uh, to just let them stretch across the straight there, especially, it's, it's very good. It's available to the public, you know, all the lads around use it here, Colin, Dennis, Sean, Cormac, they're, they're all here, um, Matty Flynn. Horses have been here in Cool Vaughan for generations. Um, there's, after being 100 plus winners on the track, Braid out of here. Cool Bond here has a long association with Point to Pointing. Um, the Point to Point was held here by the Bree Foxhounds in the late 70s. The colours I use today, the yellow and brown sash, go back um, generations as well. My granny um, had them and they were wore by good, good riders as well. Uh, including Aidan O'Brien uh, riding Bring Lloyd, um, John Creeley rode uh, Coolborn Castle to win Punchestown, and then Dad uh, wore him on Love and a Mist, where he was, there's a picture of him there, finished an upside's dawn run. My first winner was uh, 16 months ago in Castletown Gagan, uh, the mayor called Seven of Us, the eighth mayor. I think we had around uh, 30 runners last year and five winners and something like 15 of them were placed as well. Um, so it, was, it wasn't too bad. Hopefully we can match that or, or go better again. It's, it's a family farm. Um, there's 
three hundred yo's here that I have nothing to do with. <laughs> um, Charlie, Charlie does all them, and and Dad, and sure, Granddad's wandering around here giving orders as well still. So it's, they're all great to have around the place. Any spare time I have, I'm probably sitting on a tractor um, doing tillage work. Um, kind of enjoy that part of it as well. Um, if I wasn't doing horses, I'd probably be doing more of that. All the mares at the minute, they're, um, they've all bred a winner or winners. Um, check the forecast there, especially he's bred five winners from five different stallions and two of them are black type horses. Um, and of course, she's the one that's tricky to get in fall. <laughs> Biggest challenge, I suppose, is finding the, the right horse that, that you want, that suits you. Um, budget wise and obviously a horse that you like to train and um, last year I was lucky to have a good horse ca um, called Snake Roll, um, a jetway horse. He was second in Oldcastle um, and went to the sales then where the Cinder Russell picked him up and uh, she, she's after winning two now and he's after being placed in the black type race so she has high expectations of him and hopefully um, he does reward her and I think he will. I have a couple of nice four-year-olds in there at the minute. Um, the grey horse there is by poor moi. He's um, actually a half-brother to resplendent grey. Uh, he won a bumper there for Ali Murphy there a month ago. Um, first time out. So. Hopefully if we can get him to do the job, he'd uh, go on to bigger and better things. Um, the Old Man River Moon Phases is his name. He's a homebred um, out of a Mallor mare, um, first fall. Um, he just seems to be doing everything nicely there at the minute. Um, might take a bit more time, but... I have a nice filly there as well by um, Not Now Kato. Um, she's from the family of Ramillies there. We picked her up with... Um, in the August sale, um, just gone there. So she seems to be doing everything quite nicely. Did a nice piece of work there last week in Turles over hurdles. So uh, I really enjoy working with young horses, especially um, just getting them going, getting them to know their job. But seeing them go on is is the biggest thing, I suppose. Going on performing for other trainers and and uh, winning the big races, and hopefully one day we will. Have something to do with a grade one horse, you know. So that's that's my biggest ambition.